Y'all think I forgot? My tarot readings, my weekly horoscopes are only meant for people that are smiling. So if you're not smiling right now, honey. <laughs> I love you. Let's go. Hello, my beautiful Pisces. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly horoscope, be sure to let me know in the cards below, in the cards, in the comments below, Pisces, which cards resonate and how they do, because that is how I keep up with you is through the comments, Pisces. As well, if you do enjoy this reading or you just enjoy my vibe, Pisces, I'd really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help me out a lot, and I am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way but remember Pisces I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you who just happens to look this fabulous um you know your situation better than I ever possibly could so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever I believe my weekly readings here my weekly horoscopes are just here to give you some food for thought perspective for you to consider but never making the decision in your life because it's your life to live Pisces not mine not these tarot cards so with all that being said let's just get into your weekly horoscope Pisces I'm excited uh you guys got I pull I always like to pull a card now Pisces to see where it is you guys are currently feeling where your headspace is at where your journey is taking you at this current time you guys got the strength card Archangel Ariel uh, number 11 so uh, write down the number 11 to look up at a later point uh, as well connect to Archangel Art Ariel I get this feeling that you got this card last week Pisces maybe I'm wrong uh, but if you're open to working with Ariel uh, are this Archangel's reaching out to you at this current week uh, Pisces but let me pick up this card and show you. This card does say, uh, great inner strength, releasing harsh judgments, forgiveness, and compassion. So really this week, Pisces, I did hear the word resentment. I don't know if some of you guys are feeling resentful on a, resentful on a situation this week or something that you've been feeling resentful about. Um, I do feel overall, though, that you guys are just experiencing pretty heaviness, right? Uh, I am seeing a Pisces... Well, that's a bummer. I am seeing a Pisces cry. Maybe you guys have had, like, woken up in the middle of the night or have been up in the middle of the night because it is dark, is what I'm seeing, um, and have just, like, had some really, like, heavy cries. But I feel like it's those cries that have helped been extremely healing for you. Um, I don't even... Like, maybe I'm wrong, right? Pisces, maybe I'm wrong in something that has recently happened, but I almost feel like this is your Pisces. This is y'all's way of um, working through like some heavy weight that's been on y'all's shoulders for a while. I feel like this is like almost healing for you, right? Because here's the thing, right? The Empress card and the Ten of Cups coming in here. Yeah, there's some type of like healing, like cry that I feel like some of you Pisces are experiencing right now. These cards came out, but I'm, I'm going to put them back in here. But um, I feel like that came in. Yeah, with the Empress card, like I feel like, yeah, I... Maybe, I mean, obviously we all have this stuff going on in our lives all the time, right? Pisces that we could cry about or that can be heavy. But I do feel like this you guys are going through some heavy healing, right? Because of the strength card as well. Keep in mind, Pisces. I always say it's the card of shadow work. Um, so you guys are really healing um, with something. So let's get some clarifiers now. How many times can I say healing before we get into some clarifiers? Honey? Uh, the cards come flying out. Can we get three already? We need one more. Uh, I guess four more. Two more, rather. <laughs> ah, all right. <laughs> so, we have for your clarifier for your strength card, the Eight of Swords in the reverse. Tower card in the reverse. <laughs> I didn't recognize the card for a moment. The Ace of Cups. And the Pisces, the strength card following you. Now, uh, you guys... <laughs> I know uh, I'm thinking just out of my own perspective how obnoxious it might be to be like in this heavy energy and like dealing with someone that's being like bubbly now but I really get this sense Pisces yeah you guys are just going through it this week but I feel like you guys are going through it in such a beautiful way I feel like <sighs> things are finally things that have been not working out for you and you've been dealing with some resistances dealing with like I feel like you guys have just been dealing with something. It could be even just as simple as just like a general state of a depression. Uh, I do feel as if you guys are now starting to be a little bit more present with yourself, a little bit more present with your body. Um, that may sound like a weird comment, but 
I feel like the best thing that you can do this week for yourself, Pisces, is to allow yourself to experience emotions. Really allow yourself to become unhinged even um, a little bit, you know, with some caution, honey, right? Be responsible with it. Don't be doing anything reckless. When I say unhinged, right, I say unhinged in the sense of not being afraid of experiencing emotions. Um, you know, being okay with shooting your shot, right? You putting your heart, wearing your heart out on your sleeve, Pisces, and being like, you know, asking the question of being like, do you like me, right? Um, asking the question of being like, can I like sit with you? You know, very much so for almost forcing yourself to be at a living in a state of vulnerability right now because i feel like it's during this time this is like such a priority for you to learn a little bit more about yourself um with this eight of swords coming in here in the reverse luckily there's something that i just yeah you are no longer have there's something that's been keeping you controlled keeping you impaired uh in your life pisces something that's been crippling to you if you're feeling like you couldn't move forward um i feel like you're finally working out of it right tower card in the reverse you guys were self-sabotaging from this or yeah you guys have been self-sabotaging with this for a while now so let me just give a narrative a storyline pisces if i can and hopefully i don't piss too many people off right I don't think it will though. I let this is very much so a storyline of someone, let's just say you want to do tarot, right? For simplicity's sake. Uh, you want to do tarot and you've always wanted to do tarot so badly, but you've never wanted to put yourself out there. And I use this example because I know for a while, Pisces, you guys have been experiencing some imposter syndrome. And so this is why I'm suspecting a little bit you guys are going through a little bit of a, like, rather that you guys are overcoming this imposter syndrome. And that's why I'm a little bit more bubbly about it. I know while you guys might be even crying a little bit teary eyed, even while watching this, um, I'm bubbly in this just because, um, I see someone who wanted, wants to do tarot or wants to do something creatively that puts themselves out there um, and their imposter syndrome has kept a hold of them this entire time for a long time because I feel like it's been a long struggle for you Pisces. You've been even trying to self-sabotage and tell yourself, you know what, I don't want to do tarot. You know, you tried to stop doing tarot, you tried to do whatever it is, you stopped creating and you always come back to it. And so now I don't know what's happened. I feel like now you guys are in this state, Pisces, or you should want to be in this state, rather, of where you start mass creating. You start doing a lot of tarot readings now. You start posting a lot, right? You start creating a lot. You start putting yourself out there. and You're starting to feel the most vulnerable that you ever have felt, right? But it's also the most alive that you've ever felt because you're actually living into this passion that you've wanted for so badly, that you've worked so long for it. Um, and you're just now finally being able to get it. So I'm really happy for you, Pisces. I'm really, really happy for you. So let's pull some more cards, though. I want to get some more uh, detail on this. We have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse for you. We have the Knight of, the Knight of Swords in the reverse for you, Pisces. We have the Seven of Swords coming in for you. And then we have the Seven of Cups coming in for you. So yeah, you guys have been resistant to this for a long time. I feel like you've really wanted to go after it, but for the longest time, you haven't been wanting to make yourself uncomfortable. You haven't wanted to make yourself vulnerable, right? With the Seven of Swords here, there's something that you uh, have constantly you've, like, had like a looming fear about with this or something that's just made it so a lot harder for you to just be okay with just like going forward in your path, in your journey. Um, I do get this sense with the Seven of Cups. Maybe there's this sense, especially with the Seven of Swords here. Um, you guys want to do so many things. So let's just continue on with the tarot example, right? You guys wanted to do tarot, but at the same time, you also wanted to do occult videos. You wanted to do eating videos. You wanted to do cooking videos. You wanted to do so much that you end up overwhelming yourself with options. And then because you never really say <laughs> <laughs> my southernness almost came out you you haven't really sank your teeth and in into anything really get enmeshed in this one specific choice that you end up being hard on yourself perhaps because it's like you feel like you should you're not progressing as quickly as you feel like you should be um because of the high extremely high standard that you would put for yourself pisces the extremely critical eye that you put on just yourself but not other people um 
And because you keep on doing this with so many things, right? It's very much so like, uh, have you all heard the phrase of jack of all trades, master of none? This is very much so this energy. Like you want to be Pisces, the master of everything. And maybe even now when you're receiving this, you're just like, well, Valka, like I still, you can say all you want, honey, but I want to do all these extra things. I'm not saying you can't Pisces. What I am getting this implication of is that you guys need to just like put a focus on one thing perhaps and really just go all out on it you know just really put or at the very least if you're going to continue dabbling in a bunch of things put out projects without having such a perfectionist nature pisces right where it's like you be okay with like here's the thing pisces i feel like the best thing you can tell yourself right now and learning to accept is that tell yourself that just because it's not your best still tell yourself that it's worth putting out there that it's worth to be seen you know if i only posted my what i would see as like my best tarot readings pisces honey plot twist y'all wouldn't see any tarot readings <laughs> y'all wouldn't be seeing this video but it's because i choose to just like continuously put myself out there right someone you know i have it, it forces me to acknowledge the critical eye that i have on myself because other people will see this reading or receive my readings and be like oh well this is wonderful right so i'm only speaking of this from experience not as if i'm speaking from some pedestal as if i'm like know all the answers i get it i see i truly get it um but it's almost like because of your extremely critical nature and i feel like i've even chastised y'all about this before pisces um you don't put yourself out there um, because maybe part of your critical nature part of your perfectionist is your coping mechanism for the insecurities that you have deep down because you don't feel like what you put out there just in normal sense is good right when it actually is mm. did i step on some toes honey did i piss some of y'all off i hope i did that means i hit so Hanged man in the reverse for you. We have three of wands in the reverse for you. Eight of seven of pentacles in the reverse for you. This is, yeah, something you guys are dabbling back into something that you've already done before. I don't feel, I mean, no, I'm not even going to say it. Maybe, I mean, obviously we have to be a realist Pisces and be like, all right, this is going to be, this video is potentially for thousands of Pisces, right? Obviously, some of you Pisces are going to be dabbling into something new and y'all know what y'all will know if it's fitting for you or not. But I really feel like whatever it is that you guys were trying to self-sabotage before, whether you're being an artist, whether it's a tarot reader, as I was saying, right? You guys are coming back to this, right? You're coming back to this. You're coming back to something that um maybe what started out with like you just really wanted to be like a painter you then started like when you were like a little kid but then that painting just devolved into other things because um you were always told that you can be like a successful painter or how it'd be impossible or whatever so then the dreams the aspirations that you set for yourself were things or standards that you thought would get you a better result or would get the approval of other people right so yeah you could in one sense say it's like oh yeah i wanted to do this but you only were doing this because of the result or like because of the reaction of other people it wasn't deep down what it is that you personally just truly wanted to do insecurity aside money or not or anything like that right i hope that makes sense pisces i hope um it's making a little bit of sense two of pentacles in the upper right the hierophant coming in here in the upper right as well so you guys the best thing you guys pisces can do right now is to really take a sense of more i'm not saying you guys are not responsible pisces but take a little bit more of a controlled coming going in with a plan approach there's two pentacles coming in here this is really again highlighting i do get the sense pisces that a lot of you guys overwhelm yourself and that's really what starts that spiral perhaps for some of you guys of uh really starting to feel like the sense of defeat and just what have you because of this right so really the best thing you don't overwhelm yourself with a bunch of projects right i know it's gonna be easier said than done right you can look at any of my live streams pisces and you always hear how i'm talking about how i have all these video plans ideas that i want to do sometimes it's just hard not to, for me to do it ace of wands coming in the reverse for you yeah confirming to me pisces straight up for this portion if you're going to receive any part of this message honey do not overwhelm yourself with options Commit to, like, make a choice to something that you want to create and just do it. Just put every, like, the best thing, best advice I can give anyone Pisces is especially just from my own experience doing tarot readings on YouTube. 
is that do not worry about perfect right now in terms of like growth in terms of trying to just better yourself it's better to do quantity instead of really focusing on quality now i know that kind of can sound very much so like what velka but you know especially if you have such a, an extreme critical nature of yourself a high standard of yourself right what you're going to see as low quality may not actually be low quality and so if you were to just get out of your head for even just a week pisces and you know take out the sign of like quality and just put out a bunch of quantity and then by the end of the week you can look at that quantity and be like well this actually isn't that bad the quality isn't that bad right something that i always would deal with pisces is when people are just like oh wow valka you can't post that much like the quality is going to suffer well why does it have to suffer right sure i'm not going to be able to do like extravagant editing and have it, everything be flashy or not but just because i'm posting a lot doesn't necessarily mean um the quality is awful either right does that make sense i hope it makes <laughs> y'all uh pisces i you have used the most analogies for him but i hope it resonates with you guys because i feel like um the messages that i said in here are, i hope rather i don't want to say i feel like i hope the messages that i kind of went out of pocket and saying resonates and hits some of the pisces in the way that it needs to be hit so that way they can really start the next part portion of their life without them being in their head so much nine King of Pentacles. Okay, it's confirming to me you guys aren't. So I can drop that portion now. I don't have to continue on. Um, I hope that did resonate, Pisces. Um, so now let's just see what's going on in terms of your fine, uh, not financial, uh, your romantic as well as your social situations this week. Because keep in mind, Pisces, we have more than just romantic relationships in our lives. We have family, friends, acquaintances. We have all that, right? I guess we're going to talk about this. These, these two cards came flying out. The Four of Fire as well as the Two of Fire, or of Wands, right? The Two of Wands says... <coughs> honey. The Two of Fire says... Oh, honey. <laughs> I'm not even going to edit this out. Um, the card Two of Wands says, You've come into your own. New partnerships or contracts. Continue moving forward. Four of Wands comes in. A uh, contentment, peace, and abundance, a happy home life, the successful completion of a project. I like seeing this a lot. I see. Um, let's see here. Clarifiers. Judgment card. It's through some action. Do you guys get closer? Yeah. The King of Cups. King of Cups, Queen of Swords in the reverse, and the world card in the reverse. You guys get closer with somebody in your life, right? I do see this sense of um, someone that you, there was a little bit of distance between you and this person. Maybe nothing really even happened. It just is like a natural distancing. I feel like this natural distancing is going to start coming to a close. I feel like um, either both sides open up, someone starts opening up and starts taking action, taking more of an aggressive or forward role into being like, hey, let's be friends. Hey, let's connect. Hey, let's get closer, right? Uh, Queen of Swords with the World card, both being in the reverse, you're finally let it, letting your guard down. Someone's letting their guard down and really just opening up to the connection. It's very much so. Pisces, maybe, like, I feel like we all have had at one point that one person that are just like, oh, we would be such, like, maybe, maybe it's just me, maybe I'm just crazy, but it's just like, <laughs> Uh, being like, oh, I would be really good friends with this person if they just, like, uh, chose to be normal. If they chose to just, like, let me in. If they chose to be uh, vulnerable. If they just, you know, this sense of just, you know, there's some that you want to be friends with, someone that you want to get closer with, but for whatever reason, they have their own issues. I feel like with that Queen of Swords in the reverse, beautiful, that world card, whatever resistances, whatever guards someone has that's made it hard for you to connect with them, could be you. Um, I feel like that, I feel like I see this lightening up for you, Pisces, and the connection can actually now start getting a little bit more intimate. And by intimate, I just mean like you guys being able to know each other a little bit more on a personal level and just feel closer to them. Page of Fire is coming in for your financial and your, um, financial and work life. I don't know what, y'all Pisces don't mind me. Y'all are the last water sign. So like my speaking voice is a little bit out. Um, this card talks about uh, new, some exciting new adve uh, ad endeavor. Use your originality and your ingenuity. Uh, so definitely for this being in your financial Pisces, uh, this is your fresh start card. Let's get some clarifiers on this because I have a suspicion. Yeah, okay. Okay, 
this is I was, I was saying i had a suspicion this is going in from your general portion so you have the queen of wands in the reverse the sun card in the reverse as well as the eight of cups or eight of coins in the reverse eight of pentacles so uh, this makes sense to me because it does go back to this sense of I feel like you're looking back at a project that you had with a fresh new set of eyes. Something that you were just like, oh, this just isn't going to work out. This is what it isn't for me. I feel like you're coming back into it. You know, you it's like very much so like a, a project, a long lost forgotten project that you just put to the side, that you put to the back burner for a very long time. I feel like it's coming back into the forefront and it's going to be really profitable. Uh, for some of you Pisces or a lot of you Pisces. So yeah, that is the reading that I have for you Pisces. I hope you found some cards that resonate with you in this reading. I hope you do over overcome your imposter syndrome, but um, I love you so much. If you did find some cards that resonate, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe Pisces as well. I do weekly zod zodiac horoscopes for all the zodiac signs, not just Pisces. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not, I would appreciate it if you were to send them my video and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them. I love you so much Pisces. Bye.